Welcome, Dex here, giving you a quick overview of a new tool to allow you to get more work done faster with better results in a really simple way that takes much less work than normal methods. You see, I hate the normal way I'd have to organize my files by separating them into different folders based on their topics and categories since this quickly led to files and folders all over the place. I then have to go and sort through these folders later to find files with the information I wanted, not to mention the hassle and time wasted trying to remember what each file was about or reviewing what information it even discussed. Wanting an easier way to review my notes on different files while being able to instantly search through their information, I developed this new organizer software tool to easily get that job done. So yeah, let's take a look. I'm going to come back to this main grid here after. On the left hand side you can see help videos and frequently asked questions link which open up the online help documentation and then here's the info tracker itself. So you just click on that you can go up to here and click new to start up a new one or you can just right click on this grid and click new info tracker. This would load up the uh, the empty template for you to enter in as much or as little information you want about whatever file you want to start keeping track of or files in general. So let's say I want to open up uh, a document, we'll open up this private label content riches PDF. So I'd enter the product title in, private label riches, whatever I want. The file type, I come over here, I can actually select from several default file types or let's say it's something that I don't uh, have listed in this template, you can enter it in yourself. Maybe it's a, uh, a CAD file or maybe it is a, uh, a file specific to your industry or whatever you're tracking. Uh, maybe it's a uh, World of Warcraft uh, demo, for example. You can keep track of the file types however you like. For this example, it's electronic book. Topic or category, uh, I could put the topic as, you know, PLR rights, or maybe I want to put private label rights. Whatever you want to list as a topic. The length of the material, well, to easily find that out, I can go back up here, and instead of having to use the old way of doing it, I'd have to go search through my files and my folders to locate this PDF somewhere on my computer, open it up, and then look for whatever information I need. In, not with this software. This software, I can just right click on it, open, and it's going to open up the software for me. So I can just scroll down, find out how many pages. So it has 24 pages. So I'll close that. And length of materials, 24 pages. So now if I'm looking back through that main grid and I want to find all my documents on private, private label rights, which are short, boom, right here I have a 24 page document I can quickly open up. Creator, it could be whoever I find, sample creator there. Um, create a date. Maybe I wanted to find recent books on the topic. Maybe I don't care how old it was. So maybe this was October 14th. In the website URL, I can type in the website, uh, let's say plrriches.com, just to make it up. And I would double click it and it would open up the, uh, the website there. Um, down here, we have a quick reminder note on the actual file itself, so I could put private label PLR riches documentation, or I could put a how to make money with PLR rights. Basically, whatever you want to put there will just quickly help you to remember what that file is about, so you're not having to go through all your folders and files trying to remember, you know, what was this book about or what did this book contain. After reading through it, you can decide, you know, is this a low quality, medium quality, or high quality product? And does it have an affiliate program that I could uh, start recommending to other people? If it is a high quality or medium quality product, maybe you do want to spread the word, make some money from it that way. Here is my pride and joy in the fact that you can start creating notes on that ebook um, to quickly uh, refresh your, your memory on it without having to read back through that whole book. I know before having this software, I would often have to reread, you know, PDFs or ebooks 
over and over again, trying to remember certain strategies or just remember the specific strategy that I'm looking for because after you know after you read two or three or you watch two or three videos or file or uh, audios, everything starts to merge together. So here I just click new location of information. Let's say on page 21 it discusses uh, top 10 mistakes made by PLR marketers save it and close it or I could create a new one save a new maybe page 34 uh, contains a powerful strategy to create addictive PLR material so I save it and close it now both of them are listed there we can take it one step further and now export our notes to an Excel file HTML file a text document or export it as XML and upload it online creating an, R an RSS feed of all of our notes or using SQL and creating a database of searchable notes or a swipe file however you want to use it very powerful software online marketing details for those who are using this for online marketing you have uh, you can say you know does this file have resale rights master resale rights private label rights what's the retail value or retail price of it was it a bonus item of a sale when you came across it and does it have a reseller site included so like I said you can have as little or as much documentation uh, done on each file to help you organize your files however you would like so I'm gonna save and close this now going back to this grid here we can organize what we see here based on how you decide you want to see it so by right clicking on this title selecting column chooser I can pick and choose maybe I want to say I want to see the file types of all the files on my grid so now I see I have electronic books maybe I don't want to see the creator I can drag it down here quick notes like I was showing you earlier helps you keep track quickly see what this file is about so how to make money with PLR rights example quick note on a file etc so I close that down now let's say you have you know a hundred a thousand different files you got videos you got video game demos you got audio courses and you want to search for you know what what content on my uh, do I have notes on for PLR so I type in PLR in my filter hit enter and right there it's gonna sort and quickly show you all the PLR documentations videos files that you have along with the quick notes so for this example how to make money with PLR right so if I was about to start a new product on PLR maybe I'd want to be like oh hey you know what I do have a book on how to make money with PLR rights I would double click it right click open and there we go I can quickly review what that book was about or even better go to my notes page and see what strategies it had in it very powerful stuff now as with uh, the previous example you can also export all your files Excel HTML text you name it you can print preview uh, changing uh, the background colors to whatever you'd like adding watermarks setting the layout it's very flexible like that um, so going back here we can remove the filter bring back everything now let's say you want to be uh, more specific with how you break down your file structure you can actually create a tree structure so you can group by this column and now all of your files will be grouped by the product names now let's say you don't want to group it by product name you want to group them by what file types are or their niche topic let's do that so we can group by the niche topic and then within that niche topic maybe you want to group by their file types so now we've got it broken down by the niche topic of private label rights and the sample category and then breaking it down further we have the electronic books and then we'll have video books and demos and Excel files and articles um, you name it if you want to clear this all out you right click clear grouping and you're back to normal and like I said this is powerful stuff let's say you're into article marketing you could have an article file uh, the file type could be um, yeah, well, I mean, file type would probably just have a Word document, but the topic could be uh, health articles or fitness article. You name it. Very, very powerful stuff. So that's a quick overview. Obviously, there's a lot of power in this software, which I will go into detail in the help videos and frequently asked questions page. But hopefully you can see how you can use this software to better your business and really quickly reduce the amount of workload you have to search and organize your files.
Take care.